Hey guys, it's your boy Arj back with more Dragon Ball Super Broly movie news and updates and today we're going to be talking about some controversy in the DB fandom because oh boy, oh boy, oh boy some dude has revealed apparently spoilers and I'm talking about full spoilers apparently for the Broly movie now I just want to explain everything that's going on here First of all, these spoilers seem retarded. Second of all, because they're retarded, they're seen as fake. And third of all, I want to talk about how this is a weird situation just in general. So first of all, this is Govita XV. You should know who Govita XV is. He's a person who like leaks all kinds of things to us, like from scans. Literally, these where I get all the scans. So these where all the YouTubers. Get their scans for for our videos and everything and then he's tweeted this out about these possible movie spoilers on Kazenshu. he'd even call these out as fake it turned into this whole thing where i was finding out so where do i find these friggin spoilers i eventually found them and i'm gonna read them to you and okay i'm gonna debunk some of them because obviously some of them are really bad and well not even really bad they just don't seem like they will happen like 100 they just won't happen i don't think so but some of them when you read them, it seems like they've put in so much detailed and so like so much like caveats into what they've said that it kind of makes it sound like, really? Could this actually happen? Like, why is he specifically mentioned? And I'm gonna go through these one by one and kind of tell you what I'm thinking as I talk about it. Because I'm not just gonna go out there and say the most basic obvious thing and say, these are all fake, 100 percent nothing's been confirmed. I'm gonna actually think properly and think, how could any of this come true? And if they did come true, what would happen? So first of all, it says Broly is almost killed by Son Goku in mastered Ultra Instinct form near the remaining last minutes. Okay, what's bad about that? Possible. Broly is supposed to be this super strong character, the legendary Super Saiyan. It is well in reason that apparent that possible Goku does not defeat Broly. I think that I don't think Goku is going to defeat Broly because I think Broly is going to survive in this film, and I think Broly will literally be either z Fire or still exist in universe 7 fine that's okay i don't know why it's put at the start but anyway let's get into this the last word spoken in the entire film is furiza now i don't know why he's gone into like japanese linguistics here because in later on in this he starts spelling it like how you spell it in english i don't know what that means and it also doesn't make sense for the last word to be furiza unless he's trying to hint that the next film is going to be about furiza that's something i'm going to say nah there's just not happening then he goes on to say, Universe 6 and Universe 11 characters, Vados, Champa, Kalifla, Kale and Jiren, and many other important characters from the Turn of Power do not appear in the entire film, and even they are not mentioned at any time. Right, that's pretty obvious, okay? At this point, he's just making an obvious point. None of those characters, of course, are not going to be mentioned in this film, when this film is literally just about the story of the three main Saiyans, Vegeta, Goku, and now Broly, and their childhoods and histories of the Saiyans in general and then how they have these fates that intertwine. That's what the movie is about. Nothing to do with Jiren, Universe 6 or 11. Okay, then it says something like it runs for Daishinkan. I don't know what that means. Only Zeno is mentioned two times and the two times by Son Goku and Bulma as well. Now this is where it sounds so specific and detailed like He's counted two times and he's mentioned the exact characters that say it. When you're going to release fake spoilers, you, you'd expect it to just be very far-reaching and just like overstretching. But to say something so specific makes me think, could this guy actually have legit spoilers? I don't know, really. It's very interesting he said two times. Then he says, no Zarama info, no 17, no Tian Shinhan, no Yamcha, no info about the 18 universes, nothing. Okay, so now it kind of delves into, this guy's literally been watching theory videos, my theories included, about Seventeen's wish and how it would bring back the six lost universes that Zeno erased originally. Now it's starting to sound a bit fake, because he's bringing in theories from YouTube, which does not sound like legit thing to be talking about if he's going to be releasing spoilers for the actual movie. I'm going to cut that there. Then it goes, Bulma has now become the major chief of Capsule Corporation. Again, that is legit. That could happen. There's nothing to say that won't happen. I mean, Bulma's dad's been running it for a long time. Things have happened and he's an old geezer right now. So, 
possible Bulma becomes the major chief. That's not a big spoiler. Officially stated that Trunks and Son Goten combined is as powerful as Son Gohan or something like that. No, that's that's just not true, is it? I mean, <laughs> we've got a Gohan video coming up very soon. It's actually made. I was going to post it today, but I was going to post this instead now. But that's not true, is it? Son Gohan has proved that he's basically near the level of blue right now after the turn of power and all these actions and all of that. He even fought Goku in blue form and Goku in Kaioken to beat him. No, I mean, unless Trunks and Son Goten have been training for some reason and they've gotten stronger, I don't think so. Chi Lai is killed by Vegeta only with a hit from his finger. Very out of character. I mean, I don't know actually. Chi Lai is part of the Freezer army. Vegeta doesn't care. He's just going to beat and kill all of the soldiers. He might have killed Chi Lai with one finger. He fingered Chi Lai. I don't, I don't think that. But again, that's another point, no pun intended, that is very detailed. He's gone to the lengths of specifically mentioning the like method of how she dies with one finger. I don't know, man. It's confusing right now. Whis plans to kill Freezer after he requested to train him, but the angels can't do that. He stated that Son Goku and Vegeta are special souls. Now, this is just something that sounds completely fake. I mean, Freezer requests to be trained by Whis. Uh, why? What? Frieza has shown that he can train for a couple of months and become super powerful by himself just by training with some guy who's literally like Ginyu. There's just no, no, that's just not possible. That's not true. Why would Frieza need that, first of all? And we also know Frieza's all, literally all the way in space conquering planets and all that again with his new army. He's not going to go to Whis for training when he's got his army to look after. And then the, the point that Whis can't train him and that only Goku and Vegeta can be trained because they're special souls. That's just gay as hell and not true. So that makes this fake. In Capsule Corporation, they talk about some fish race. Some fish race that was exterminated by the Saiyans in the past. These fishes know something about the legendary Super Saiyan. Maybe a correlation between the Kanasa Warrior and Bardock. I mean, forgive me. Do you know who the Kanasa Warrior is? I don't. Let's just ask my boy Google. If he knows who the Kanasa Warrior is. Okay. Right. So these are race in Dragon Ball. I don't actually remember what did Bardock have to do with this guy. Did Bardock kill this race? I don't know. But apparently that's who they killed. That's who was killed first by the Saiyans. And they know something about the legendary Super Saiyan. That kind of sounds legit to not legit like a very specific thing he's mentioned the race he's mentioned that they knew some of the legendary super saiyan maybe that's why that's who goku and vegeta are gonna find information about broly i don't know but it's very specific and you see this parts in this are legit parts of this that sound retarded it's very confusing then it says hercule is now a serious martial artist this is wrong this is very wrong when did hercule not become a serious martial artist He's a legit tournament winner, like, before the Saiyans, before the Z Fighters, leg legit Hercule was strong enough to beat people, he was a powerful martial artist for the humans. He's strong, and Videl has inherited that strength from him. He is a martial artist, he just doesn't have the power of the Z Fighters, who have trained, like, in some different way, and have, like, key and all that. So, that's stupid. Videl, Son, Gohan, and Pan went to travel to a giant castle in the sky. Listen... On first reading this, it sounds so retarded that you just think, why? Why have you said that? Why have you spoiled your entire fake spoiler by saying something so fake? Like, the movie is about Broly and Gohan, Videl and Pan have decided to go on holiday to a giant castle in the sky. But then you also got to think, what was this guy thinking unless this is so specific that it actually happens? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> then it goes Krillin, Kami, uh, obviously Master Roshi, sorry, and 18. We're talking about the Ultra Instinct at the same time as Frieza. X team member took the Earth, right? Limo is one of the best characters in the movie and one of the best characters in Dragon Ball since, well, many time ago. He served, all right, Karuda Dio, he's talking about um, King Cold. This is also something that makes it sound more legit because he's using a very Japanese term. That's that's how you say King Gold in J Japan and he's used it here. So there's obviously some guy 
Matthias, Matthias, Retard, he is using, he must be from Japan, and he's using Japanese terminology here to describe certain characters. I don't know if he's doing it on purpose to make it seem more legit or what, but there you go. And then it says, King Colt, the Ginyu Force, the Dora, Zab, and Raditz, and Nappa appear in the film, but none of them said a single word. I mean, not saying a single word? Fake. They are going to say at least one word. That would be so bad if they didn't say a single word. You even see Dodoria and Zarbon right at the beginning of the movie. And you're probably going to see them when they destroy the planet as well, planet Vegeta. They'll say a few words. Raditz will 100% say a few words because he's going to be with uh, the young Vegeta conquering planets. And Nappa will be there too. Now, excluding Jira and Daishinkan as well as the angels and some gods, Broly is the most powerful character ever. Okay, we knew that already. I mean, it's interesting he even says Jiren... Broly is going to be stronger than Jiren, That's, that should be the case, because, well, at least that's what I think is going to happen, we'll see how powerful he really is, and then it says, Vegito appears in the film, why, this would have been more legit as a fake spoiler if he wrote Gogeta, but he wrote Vegito. but then, you know what this makes me think, you know what this really makes me think, it makes me think, he knows everyone is talking about Gogeta. He knows the whole world is talking about Gogeta is going to be in the film. There's an artist that said he's drawing Gogeta and he's working on the film. Gogeta is going to be filmed. There's been leaks of Gogeta for Xenoverse as DLC alongside Broly. This guy's gone for Vegito, which makes me think even he was aware of all of this and he went for Vegito because Vegito is so outside of the box and it would make all us theorists who think that Gogeta is going to be in the film completely wrong. And he's gone for Vegito, which when you think about it, they very well could go for Vegito because they've used Vegito over and over again. They might just do it again. Like, who's to say they won't? I, I, it's confusing me. He said Vegito. It's funny. It's weird. And then it says the minus throwback last run seven minutes. That sounds about right. They're not going to go into too much detail for that, mine, for that um, throwback. Probably just going to skip very fast through the story of how Bardock and Gina sent Goku away. Probably. But actually, seven minutes does sound quite short, I'm not going to lie. Considering the movie is almost like, I think it's over two hours. It is like one hour, 40 minutes. So, no, it's not over two hours. It's under two hours. Yeah, one hour, 40 minutes, I think. It's pretty long for a Dragon Ball movie. So, I don't think it's just seven minutes. But anyway, the very first important uh, battle shown is Son Goku versus Broly. That must be incorrect. That must be incorrect because in the trailer, if you remember, they uh, the first person Broly attacks is actually Vegeta. If you've seen that little tiny screen there, Vegeta. And I'm showing you a Dragon Ball here because I'm going to get to another point in this uh, fake spoiler. But yeah, the first person he fights must be Vegeta, not Goku. Anyway, and then it says... Uh... Yeah, here it is, the next bit. That cold planet is the homeland of Frieza, the most cold planet in Universe 7. Broly went there to finish his revenge. Uh, this is where he lost me. This is where he just made it fake as... You know what I was going to say. Fake as hell. Because this planet, this cold planet, the icy planet, has already been confirmed as Earth. It's already been confirmed in past spoilers. I'm not going to bring it up. But then here is like further proof, it's because there's an Earth Dragon Ball on this planet and they are going to this planet to get this last Dragon Ball because Frieza apparently stole six of them and the last one is located here. So that's that, that's a fake spoiler right there, that's completely fake. And then it goes, the Namekian book is explained by Whis in less than 30 seconds. Again, something very specific, very very specific, the Namekian book would have information about the legendary Super Saiyan, most likely it had information about the Super Saiyan before. So, it was a very, 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 like, interesting thing to have said. That kind of tries to make it look more legit, but after that first line about the freezer planet, I think this shit is fake. Then it goes, power level explained by Wee Capsule. Again, something very interesting and weird to say. Yomoshi is mentioned by Beerus. Let's see. We all thought Yomoshi was going to be in the film. We literally, before Brody was announced, so many people were talking about Yomoshi. Yomoshi is going to be Shikoni. He's the first Super Saiyan God, all of that. Maybe Akira Toriyama was like, oh shit, like, they're all waiting for Yamoshi, I can't be bothered to show him. Maybe I'll just, like, have him a, have a brief cameo, a brief little mention from Beerus, just to keep them happy. That might happen. So, again, all of this is, is fake, it's not unconfirmed, but don't be surprised if some of these guesses he's made do come true. 
Then he says, Jack of the Patrolman is mentioned by Kikono. Very specific. Interesting he says that Bardock is mentioned by Paragus. That's legit. Like, probably. Paragus will probably mention Bardock because he'll see Kakarot and he'll be like, you look just like your father. He'll say some sort of terrible crap like that. You know, you know what I mean. That's, that's probable. That's probable. I mean, they existed at the same time, so why not? Then it says, Zeno is mentioned by Son Goku and Bulma. He said that already. The, another son of Crudodio, another son of King Cold is mentioned by Paragus. Cooler. Now... I initially thought this is plausible. Kira Toriyama could rewrite canon as he's done with Gogeta, as he's done with Broly. He brought Gogeta, and well, he's done with Broly 100%. He made non canon Broly canon now, and Gogeta, people think he's going to come into the film. And of course, he's non canon, so he may become canon now. And with Kula, the same story could be said. But there are apparent interviews from the past where Kira Toriyama has confirmed that Frieza and King Cold are the only members of his species left. But like I said, Okira Toriyama is up to him. Whatever he wants to do is what's going to happen. Then it says, Son Goli and Broly have their full blood from Yamoshi. What the hell? I mean, what does that even mean? You're saying they're related? They got inherited blood from Yamoshi, meaning Bardock inherited it? I mean, it's just that uh, that brings up too many questions. It would be a little bit of an interesting plot point in the movie if your Moshi was somehow interest was somehow um, related to Goku and Broly. It's po I always thought maybe yeah he's got some sort of relation to Goku because Goku is the first person to have come Super Saiyan God. But then again, Vegeta is now Super Saiyan God as well as we've seen. He's got he's got red hair now as well, so it doesn't really make sense. And Broly's not a Super Saiyan God. He's just the legendary Super Saiyan. So, no, no, I don't think so. Paragus is killed by Broly. He's just taken out from the original movie. That's probably going to happen. Vegeta gets major power up. No surprise. Piccolo gets major power up. Very possible. There are a lot of pictures of Piccolo up. You would have seen my last video I spoke about Piccolo in his new picture. He's got a new key and all of that. Trunks get a major power up and another after a Zenkai. <laughs> Literal Trunks gets a major power up and another after a Zenkai. Wow, imagine how strong he's going to be. I mean, no. I don't think that's anything relevant to the movie. I think that's just something just made up. Golden Frieza refuses to join Son Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo and Gotenks to the battle. He goes very far away, another universe, and doesn't appear in the film anymore. Fine. Okay. What chronological order is this guy speaking in? Because he first he said Golden Frieza refuses to join in the fight. Fair enough. I mean, he's confirming now that Gotenks apparently is involved in a fight. Fine. And then he goes far away. So does he escape mid-battle? Or... At the very end of the film, he decides, I'm going to leave and just like bounces. Because apparently the last line of the film is Frieza. So does he bounce and then someone screams Frieza and they just stand still and no one does anything. I don't know. That's, this is what he says is going to happen in the film. And then it says Beerus joins Vegito near the end of the battle. Why would Beerus inter interfere? The only planet at risk right now is Earth. Broly's going to destroy Earth. He's trying to kill Goku and Jira. There is no reason for him to interfere. It's nothing on his back. This is just the natural cycle of the universe. He is not to interfere in things like this. His job is to just destroy planets while the Ky Kyoshin is supposed to increase planets and bring planets to life and watch over planets. So this is just... No, this is not happening. Beerus is not going to intervene at all. Broly recovers his power after that. But the clash is too powerful even for that universe. <laughs> the power is so strong that even the universe 7 is shaking. The universe is shaking apparently from the clash of Beerus, Vegito and Broly. This is what's being said. This is some straight anime war shit. Just no. And VU planet is melting. What is VU planet? I'm assuming he's trying to say that the icy planet that's been confirmed as Earth. Which he is saying is Freezer planet is called VU planet. Right, right. The end is very open for sure. There will be another movie or something like that. That is so obvious. Of course, that's going to happen. With Jump Fest coming up, Dragon Ball Super is going to be probably announced to be returning. Of course, it's going to be open ended. It's not going to be like, and that's it, guys. That's the end of Dragon Ball. No, it's going to be open ended. That's just not, that's a null point. With another universe, maybe he says, okay. He says, in my opinion. So there's not specific spoilers, even within, even within his fake spoilers, he's putting his own opinions. Brilliant. Then he goes, Brody realises his mind again and he knows how to travel in time and space. Here we go. Destroying the fake spoilers. Complete debunk, complete destroyed yourself there. You played yourself. How are you going to say Broly can travel t through time when it's just something that only the friggin... Uh, 
the friggin Supreme Kai's can do, the Kaioshins with their time rings, it's the only people who can do that. Goku Black shows you that, that he could only do it with the time ring. And of course, with a time machine trunks, obviously. Why can Broly, just some legendary Super Saiyan, be able to travel in time now? Come on, man. He's not even a god. Just just cut that out. You should have cut that out and this would have been more believable. Broly, uh, Vegeta said something about UI. Okay, Vegeta mentions UI in a passing comment. Brilliant. And then he says Son Goku can't win over Broly even with Master Yu mastered ultra instinct now some people are saying this is such a contradictory statement because at the start it says he almost killed son goku these aren't contradictory statements it says son goku can't win over broly but he almost kills him yeah if you almost kill someone that means you didn't win because you didn't kill him so he can't win over mastered ultra instinct fair enough but again that's one of the that's not one of the worst bit here so we've got over the other ones that are really bad the gohan in the the Kohan in the planet in the sky one, the castle in the sky one is just too funny. Vegito, come on man. Yomoshi, come on man. The time travel, come on man. Whatever. That, I just had to show you that. I mean, I need to report on this, whatever's happening in the DB fandom. All the little spoilers and all that. The Gohan video is finished, it's coming up. It's going to come out tomorrow now because I'm posting this. But Jaeger, well, why did I say Jaeger? But yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, until next video, guys, cheers.